Well, hi, and welcome to <laughs> Coffee and Tools. Crazy Coffee and Tools this week. We're looking at a little mini lathe, and really that's not the topic this week, but the idea behind a lathe is pretty amazing. The a machine was invented so long ago, and I think that it's really impressive that this was really the first machine that was invented that could reproduce itself, upgrade itself, make new parts for itself. And it, so that is really, I want to get that theme of thinking in that line before we move on, because today really is about the CR10. And the CR10 is a pretty exciting machine, but it's in the future. So let's see if we can head for the future and go take a look at a CR10. We'll get in the TARDIS right now and just see if we can't buzz over to the future. Boom, welcome to the future. This is the CR10 and it's part of that you know, miracle machines that are making things now right at home, printing, and actually at a pretty decent value. But is it a tool? Well, it sort of is becoming a tool. And I think that it, over time, this, the 3D printers are going to become a very, very much like the lathe was of the 1800s. So let's take a look at what we did here. This is upgraded and there's got so many upgrades on this thing. I'm gonna say that, I'm gonna take a guess and just say right now, I think I've got 10 altogether. Now the most serious upgrade, let's get a light on over here and turn my LED systems on. There we go, beautiful. Uh, at the very back of the bed, there's the famous uh, printer cable support. You really need that on there because otherwise the cables will tear off from the, the bed at some point, breaking the solder connections and makes it pretty hard to deal with at that point. That is probably one of the high maintenance items that you're gonna run into with this. You gotta do it. I don't see any other way around it. The, uh, wow, that was interesting. The next up <laughs> upgrade was the fan. The fan, I'm still working on trying different fan models. I haven't really been too crazy. Now, when you see the blue part, that is the upgrade part that was made by the printer itself and then put on there. That helps the cool parts, but I'm still dealing with uh, some problems where there. These are upgraded uh, bed clips, which help keep the glass in place. Uh, over here, this is kind of an important item, and I'll show you why here in a second. It's going to be a little hard to see, but this piece here is actually centers the bearing better on this, uh, I think we'll call this the x-axis or the y-axis. I, uh, I think it's the x-axis. It centers the bearing better and, and the, the pulley than the original. The original was kind of off to one side and the belt was dragging and actually hitting the extrusion. It was so bad, and I don't think we're going to be able to show it. Yeah, yeah, we can. All that black stuff, that was my belt when I first started the printer up and it was all little pieces of rubber shaving coming off the belt because it was hitting the extrusion like right up in here. So that was not a good uh, system when it came in. There was uh, some other issues with the CR10, but let's get into that. Now, the next thing, which was sort of an upgrade, is really not a huge, uh, you know, gotta have it part, but this helps a lot to see what's going on. Or you can sort of monitor, you know, the extruder and what it's doing as far as pushing the, the filament through. As you can see, it's working hard right now on a project. Uh, this is not the best video take for this project because it's black, so it's very hard to see. But again, another great upgrade. The other upgrade I made, I ran over to, uh, I ran over to Lowe's, and they have these really neat uh, LED lamps, and they clamp in. They can just clamp anywhere, really. So I got it clamped up here on the on the beam, but it's a really awesome light that helps me to see what the work that I'm doing when I'm setting up. Another upgrade is this pad. This pad, I brought this in separate from China, ordered, got it off of eBay, and stuck it on. But we did not use the original glass. The original glass that came with the CR10 is sitting here leaning against the wall. Uh, we tried and tried and tried. It was so dished, it was unusable. So what I ended up doing was going to, again, Lowe's and actually buying a piece of mirror glass, which you get a whole 10 pack for for a couple dollars. Let's just take a quick look at that. <clears throat> now, you'll get a pack of, I think it's six or ten. Well, maybe it was six. can't even remember. Six pieces, excuse me. And there's the part number right there. And you can pick that up on that item number at Lowe's. I think it was like ten dollars or something for a pack of six, 
which means I have six pieces of glass that I can use on this fabulous printer anytime I need it. Now, the next upgrade, which I thought was really necessary, but I did away with the SD card slot that was on here. I still have my USB port. My SD card slot is now up in here with a ribbon cable that comes through here to this SD card holder, which takes a full-size SD card, which was really awesome because it just made life a whole lot easier. Now, now you'll notice I also backed this piece up. Anyone that really knows the CR10 is going to say, okay, he's turned this thing around and he's put it back here. Also put this on. This helps to keep this centered and free-flowing. And this was, again, this was taken off of uh, iUniverse or thingy, thingy, thingy universe as they call it and also did the toolbox and the toolbox wasn't really crazy about but you know what it's it's okay it just doesn't hold all the tools that i received with the printer for some reason so maybe i lucked out and got more tools these are the parts we're making right now as a matter of fact is this this is the pieces that we're working on and this once it's done will go up here on the top uh, like so yeah and That'll have a brace bar, which will go down to the front here, which will help brace this off. Now, does that thing move? No, not at all, right? Okay, so let's see if we can catch it with the camera. When the bed's going back and forth, I don't know if you can catch that at all. I think you can. I think you get the idea. That bar is actually moving back and forth. And actually, you know, that's going to create some issues with uh, a toddler print. It, won't have much effect at the bottom but over time you know that's just not a good thing to have so I'm gonna go ahead and put the brace bars on I guess now the other thing I did was these little feet and I really love the feet they're just they raise the machine up and allow you to store some stuff underneath the control box so the control package sits up a little higher which I do like anyways so that was it and then here this is another piece yes another upgrade yeah another upgrade uh, these wheels absolutely i'm almost going to say they're a must once you get those wheels on leveling the bed becomes a lot easier and it's so much easier that it's just again it's like a gotta do it you know yeah absolutely so i think we've covered all the upgraded parts at this time i'm sure we've got more to come oh wait a minute no nope, we almost missed something okay here's another upgrade part back here i have a little wheel and a little like a little pulley type wheel and this is guiding the filament in but it also has a guide behind that the filament apparently hits this access the z-axis uh, rod here when you first get a cr10 so this keeps it away from the uh, that access rod so it's not touching or rubbing it and this one uh, this machine only came in i guess about i'm going to say about three or four weeks ago and since i've got it i have been uh, pretty so far I've been pretty impressed with it mostly made upgrade parts as you can tell the idea is fine because I think over time I'll learn a lot more about the machine and how to deal with uh, problems and that sort of thing with the machine. So I'm pretty happy. Coffee and tools. Hey, thanks for checking in on us and we'll see you later.